Starscream was put in charge of hunting for Autobots. To do so, he interrogated Wheeljack and had Soundwave monitor global communications. Eventually, Soundwave found Jack and Starscream sent two Viacons to go and kill him and RC. This only resulted in Laserbeak being knocked offline. Starscream's past would haunt him as it turned out Shockwave had survived. Starscream then had to share his rank. He was still second in command for all military operations, Shockwave was second in command for all science projects. Desperate, Starscream tried using the human internet to find potential leads on Autobots, which only led to embarrassing him. He later allowed Wheeljack to escape, so that when Wheeljack met the other Autobots, the Armada would kill them. However, Wheeljack found the tracking device and lured the Armada into a trap to kill them. Later, Shockwave unveiled a Predacon. When it returned empty-handed from its Autobot hunt, Starscream mocked it, creating a new enemy. Starscream sent Viacons to take care of Jack and Miko when they showed up on different sides of the country and all the Insecticons when an Energon mine was under attack. However, these were all traps laid by Autobots to reduce the numbers of the Decepticon army. When Megatron realized Starscream had left the Harbinger systems fully operational and unsecured Starscream ordered his Seeker Armada to destroy the Harbinger. Before they could launch, Darkmount came under attack and Starscream coordinated an aerial defense, which resulted in most of his flyers being horribly killed. Shockwave then offered to release the Predacon. Starscream was quite pleased when the Predacon was ground-bridged away by the Autobots. The Decepticons then captured all the invaders and Starscream found they were being led by Ultra Magnus and that Optimus Prime was not present. After Prime did show up, the battle ended with Starscream ordering a full retreat as Darkmount was destroyed and the Nemesis was relaunched.